Jack, you were telling me how you were captured and taken as a prisoner of war. Yeah. Um, now, did the Germans who capture you take your whole unit as prisoners? Yeah. Was there a battle or they just came into your camp? No, there was no battle. They, they just came in and <laughs> told us what we had to do. Wow. Was that, did you, were you prepared? Did you know that, the, that you were in German territory and that they were close to you? Yeah. So you knew what was coming? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was pretty uh, obvious that we were in, we knew we were in German territory. Now, where did you go? Where did they take you? Do you recall? Not, they, they t took us in the area, uh, you So know. you went to a prison of war camp? No, um, <clears throat> we were in a, uh, uh, We we were in a in a in a prison camp. And what was that like? It wasn't it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. We were more or less having to do a lot of things that we normally wouldn't be doing and uh, it was we were going through the motions of doing all these things that they wanted us to do did you did they have you on a work detail or were you allowed to just stay in your barracks or walk around the camp <laughs> in the um Prison camp? Did you, were you on a work detail, or did you have freedom yeah. to walk around? No, sometimes they have us do work. When were you liberated from the POW camp? Oh boy! Do you recall? You don't have to remember the date. Do you recall when it happened? And how it happened? Well, they they more or less told me, told us that we were going to, you know, be captured. And eventually it, it happened. <laughs> Who liberated you, Americans or British? The um, um, Americans liberated us. They, Do you remember what it was like the day you were liberated? Not not too clear. Yeah. See, th this this was pretty hectic area, and uh, they kept us going. You know. Do you remember how long you were in the prison of war camp? In, I was in the prisoner of war camp about five or six months. And then when the Americans liberated you, where did they take you? They, they took us to a train station and we had a 
follow through on that, you know. But uh, we're just trying to get through safely. And then did you ship home to the United States right after that? Uh, a while after. We, we uh, shipped out. <clears throat> and it was it was quite an interesting uh, th you know experience because we were normally we would n not be <laughs> in a t tough situation but <clears throat> we were going through a lot of stuff and uh, we eventually got through. When you came home to the United States, do you recall where you landed? Yeah. I, I landed in in um, basically uh, <laughs> so a lot of these things were, had gone you know I hadn't yeah. East Coast or West Coast? On the e East Coast and I uh, <coughs> I I landed in the uh, New York uh, in New Jersey area. Were you discharged immediately when you returned? No. Did you stay at another base? Yeah. This stayed, stayed in New Jersey there for a while. What did you do in New Jersey? More or less got oriented <laughs> back to the United States. Uh, Jack, did you receive any medals or citations? I, I, I received uh, some medals. Do you recall which ones? No. I did check with your son. They weren't. They weren't big deals. What was your highest rank? Private first class. What did you think of the officers? Now, when you say that... The officers that supervised you. Uh, you mean the American? Uh-huh. Well, they were pretty... They were pretty good. They try to keep tabs on us, you know. What did you think of the German officers? How was their treatment of the prisoners? They, they basically wanted us to do what they said. Did you understand any German? No. Did they speak any English? Not, not really. So it must have been tough communicating. It was, it was. How did you stay in touch with family when you were overseas? Uh, from my recalling, I would 
it, there wasn't much communication. Oh. Did you write any letters? Yeah, but not too many. Because probably didn't have time. Well, not only that, the they weren't anxious to ship them out for us, you know. The Germans. Yeah. Could you even write to people when you were in the prisoner of war camp? Yeah. Did but, you receive any of the Red Cross packages? Not that I can recall. What was the food like? What was the food like before you were captioned, captured? And then what was the food like in the POW camp? In the Army, how did they feed you? The, we were fed okay. But... Uh, It was, it, it, it lacked a lot of the things that we wanted in good meals, you know. And how did the Germans feed you in the prison of war camp? They, they fed us, I mean, pretty good, but... Uh, It was more or less taking it as it came. Before you were captured, what did you and your other soldiers do for entertainment? Um, there wasn't much. Entertainment. <laughs> Did you play cards or see any USO shows? Yeah. You, you, we played cards. Did you ha see any USO shows while you were in Europe? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you travel anywhere else while you were over there? Did you go to any other countries? No, I didn't. Do you recall any humorous or funny incidents that happened? Not really. It was a, it was a pretty tough, uh, <clears throat> you know, what we were going through. Did you make any friendships while you were in the Army? Yeah, we, we made some friends. Stay in touch with any of them after the war? Not really. Because <clears throat> we were sort of being, we were being split, you know. Uh -huh. Do you recall your last day in service, the day you were discharged and let go home? I, I, I really don't. Where, and you, when you were discharged, did you go right home to New Britain, Connecticut? Yeah. I more or less... What did you do after the war? When it went to... Uh, Went to an army hospital. Where? In Connecticut. It it was in Connecticut. And how long did you stay there? 
it was quite a few months. And after you were released from the hospital, what did you do? Did you go back to school or did you go right to work? No, I went to went back to school. Did you go back to school on the GI Bill? I see. There's a good example of where you. You can't recall. That's all right. What school did you go to? Well, eventually, eventually, I went to the University of Connecticut. And you graduated from there as a teacher. Uh, no. What was your degree in? Uh, uh, my degree eventually was uh, in education. And you went on to teach in Connecticut? Yeah. How long did you teach? I know you taught for a lot of years. I did. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all. Yes, there was so many you can't. And was all your teaching experience in Simsbury, Connecticut? More or less. What subject did you teach? Sixth grade. Did your Army unit have any reunions? So, uh, not really. No, so you haven't attended any reunions since the war? I re probably a couple. <clears throat> Did you go to them? Huh? Did you go to the reunion? Yep. Do you remember where it was? I think it was in Massachusetts. Oh, so it was pretty close. Did you join any veterans organizations after the war? Yeah. What did you join? I joined the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Which post? Simsbury? Uh... I I joined Simsbury and also New Britain. Did you join any other organizations? Well, the VFW in New Britain. Did your military experience influence your thinking about war or the military in general? <clears throat> I, I basically wasn't interested in going through it again. Once was enough, huh? Yeah. How would you say the military affected your life? Well, and your experience as a POW. I I I learned a lot, you know, I I gained a lot from the experience. And uh I eventually, <clears throat> you know, I, I got to know some of the guys <clears throat> that were there, and uh, try to keep in touch with the fellas, you know. So it was, it was an 
interesting experience. Now, I know you went on to uh, get married and have how many children? Okay. You got, I got married. Had three children. My oldest was Jack. Ned and Marianne. Are there any other stories or incidents that you can recall from your military experience that you'd like to share? Well, it, 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 the actual way it was, it was quite, you know, it, was, it wasn't a nice, quiet experience. And... Uh, I, I eventually, I have a feeling that if I spent more time, I would be able to recall more incidents. I bet you will, because now that you start thinking about it. Yeah. Is there anything else that we haven't covered that you'd like to talk about? Well, just the fact that we it was an experience that you wouldn't want to repeat. Jack, I'd like to thank you for your interview, and I'd like to thank you for your service to our country. Oh, you're welcome. Today is January 31st, 2009. I'm interviewing Jack Bannon at McLean Home in Simsbury, Connecticut. The interviewer is Eileen Hurst from Central Connecticut State University. Jack, for the record, would you state your name and your date of birth? All right, it's John H. Bannon, B-A-N-N-A-N. And uh, my date of birth is December 2nd, 1923. And is that it? That's it. Jack, were you drafted or did you enlist? I was drafted. Where were you living at the time? In, in New Britain. New Britain, Connecticut? Yep. Do you remember what year that was? Uh, I really don't. Okay, we can check, we can look that up in the records. And you were drafted into the Army? Yep. Do you recall your first days in service? Where did you go for induction? Well, I joined up here, I, I, I joined up in New Britain. And where did you go from there? Then went south, went down down to um, the University of Al Alabama. Is that where you did your basic training? It's where I 
did uh, a lot of my training getting ready to go overseas. And what what were you trained in? What kinds of things did they, did they teach you? J just general stuff. I mean, you know, the, uh, it wasn't it wasn't any kind of advanced training. It was just the basic military training. Yes. Yeah. Do you know how long you stayed there? No. It, it wasn't too long. Do you remember any of your instructors? Uh, no. They were. They were on the staff at the university. How come you were training at a university and not a fort or an army base? Uh, I, I think it was just that they were trying to get the people who were being drafted and they wanted to make sure that they had given them some of the correct training. So they were using university campuses as well as army bases? Yeah. Where did you go after you left the University of Alabama? Okay. What? Up to the University of, uh, excuse me, went to the uh, University of uh, Indian, uh, Indianapolis, actually. Oh. And what did you do in Indianapolis? Uh, just more training. More training, uh, and continued along that line. And did you receive specialized training at Indianapolis? Uh, not really. Just. Just follow up. Do you recall any any memories from your time there? Uh, there wasn't much in the way of. It was just reviewing stuff that we had. Where did you go from there? <coughs> Basically, that was where we uh, went. That was our destination. And then you went right from there overseas? Yep. Where did you leave? What port did you leave from? Did you fly over or go on a ship? Went over uh, on the ship. Recall the name of the ship you went on? No, I don't. This is this is going back. Over sixty years, I know, I know, it's tough. Uh, did you travel with a convoy, or was it just your one lone ship that crossed the sea? As my one ship. And where did you land? Uh. Just trying to think. These are some of the things, you know, that. I know. Well, you think, you know, whatever you can remember is fine. Uh, I. I, I landed. Uh, on the French coast. Okay, and when you landed and, in France, where did you go? Did you go to a base there, or were you immediately activated to march somewhere else? No, we uh, we went to the French. It was the French coast. Uh huh. 
and we took the um, and followed through. I added more stuff to it as we went. And what was your specific job? My specific job, I was a, um, a scout and I had a, I had to take a more or less cover what we were doing and uh, try to take and do it right. So would you go out ahead of your unit? Yeah. Yep. And we uh, We had stuff that we added as we went along. Like what? What what type of thing we would ask would would actually be asked to follow? And Do you remember which unit you were in? No, they didn't. See, a lot of this stuff they didn't. They didn't have. Well, they didn't tell us. Oh. Now, where did you go from France? Did you stay in France? Or, no? Where did you travel from there? Went down into the German, into Germany. So you actually marched into Germany. Well, we didn't always march. We uh, sometimes. Sometimes you had a truck ride. Yeah, sometimes. Do you recall where you were in Germany? I I really don't. It was it, it, it was just the. We were there, and they they tr they gave us some training. Now, were you in combat? Not not in the way you know that normally you would be in combat. So you were in the combat zone, you were certainly in the war in Europe, in France and Germany. Right. But you were not in direct combat in any specific battles? No. Were there any casualties in your unit? Yeah. There were. We. From what? Follow up. As we got settled in, and we we did march some, and uh, we uh, we basically tried to keep the training that we had had. And uh, we kept that pretty fresh, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, it was it was quite different from what we were used to. Can you tell me what a typical day would be like for you? Most of it would be following up on the things that we had trained to do. And uh, we would try and keep 
keep adjusted to <laughs> what they wanted us to do. So what would a typical day be like? Where, oh, where were you sleeping? In a barracks or in the field, in tents or? In, in tents, usually. So you would get up early in the morning? Yeah, and we, we, were, we were doing all the basic things. Now, did I understand correctly that you were taken as a prisoner of war? I was taken as a prisoner. Can you tell me how that happened? Yeah. The, the uh, German soldiers came into the area and uh, they went, they told us that we had a taken follow directions and we did. <laughs> did they check? Excuse me. No, 